Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Striker Break. Round two, Tops Chrome Cosmic begins. I've decided I'm going to rip until I hit an autograph. So I got to get some good luck involved, and you know the drill. Three gold ceilings, all numbered to 50. It creates a nice little broom with his hairpiece to sweep away all the bad luck. We're going to do all sides just to make sure there's no sneaky bad luck that's hanging out in there. And the Clayton Soak still to this day works like a charm. We'll see. Does he got anything left in him or is Clayton washed? We're about to find out. And you know what? The trifecta. We're going to use Billy. Just a little bill hook machete to open our box because that's the way we do it. All right, wish me luck. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Notification bell is huge. Make sure you ring that so you know when I go live. And if you want to get in on the breaks, if you like the channel, you want to support it, continue, consider joining the Patreon group. That's how you get in on the break. Slammers get notified when I post a break and they can buy in if they want. All right, pack number one. I'm just having, I'm having fun with this rip. We got a little something die cut launched into orbit bobby it's not too hard to collect the whole set of something like this you get two per box so i'm kind of in set collectors mode right now usually i don't think too much about collecting sets but this is geared towards that so changing my strategy first two packs have a launch into orbit i was thinking how sweet it would be if they had hot boxes of this stuff I don't know what that would entail, but there are so many different inserts. Like maybe, I don't know, every pack had a parallel or maybe like a refractor hot box would be cool because there's not very many refractors. Speaking of, here's one right here. I think you only get like two of them per box. So we got an Ohapi refractor. That's pretty nice. They look really good. I'm, and I'm keeping my eyes peeled. For quality control, I'm not noticing scratches. I'm not noticing any issues. I think I saw one scratch in my first box, but then again, I'm not really analyzing under really bright lights and you know the way you got to look at it, magnifying glass. But I think I'm going to send a lot of this stuff away to get graded. This is going to be low pop. Oh, yes, this is the one. Star Clusters with Adley and Gunner. Oh, baby. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And she is flawless. That's important. Not everybody sends stuff away to get graded, but that's part of how I can afford to do some of these rips because it is expensive. And you got to gem up some of your stuff. I use PSA personally. There we go. Yes. I like that a lot. Star cluster. Ooh, the in a parallel. Mm -hmm. Stowers and Singa. Hey, this is the first pack so far with nothing in it. Let's start seeing some color. Come on, baby. We need some color and some thickies. Extraterrestrial talent, Byron Buxton. That's not really the one I wanted. What is this? Not on the same team. Star Clusters from last year's rookies. Oh. That's right up my alley. I PC Bobby Witt Jr. and Julio Rodriguez. Just analyze. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two good Star Clusters. That's a cool insert. I think this is one of my favorite inserts in a while. I like the Starry Night one, too. So this release is, it's, it's just for me. I don't know. When I started collecting, I wasn't, I didn't care at all about getting autographs. I cared about, and I do care about parallels and, you know, cool inserts to an extent. And here we have the nucleus. I, I remembered nucleus refractor be a big rookie. Kyle stores. Oh, it's an Oriole too. It's not the right one. Those look so awesome. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled on eBay these first, first few days because I think, I don't know if people are going to, what they're going to price it at. 
there could be some steals. Usually the first couple days is when you want to list to make the most profit, to realize the most profit. This stuff's going to be popular for a while until the next big release comes out. Which, I don't even know what the next big release is. What is this? Oh, wow. I didn't know you could get this, but that's sweet. Adley and Bobby and Green. Three guys I'm collecting. Wit is on some cards, isn't he? And it's a different image, too. It would have been really lame if they would have used the same image. But they did not. I like it. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. A lot of people have been saying it's very expensive, priced too high for their for their price range. And that has, has alarm bells going off in my head because I notice trends and patterns. And every time that happens, when a product comes out and people are like, oh, this is too expensive, too expensive. What happens is it ends up being some of the most desirable stuff you can get. Look at Trout Extraterrestrial Talent. They said the same thing for 2023 Bowman Sapphire. Same thing. I noticed people coming in too expensive. Out of I don't know. Maybe I'll buy singles. And look what happened to the price of that stuff. It went way up. Same thing happened with Gilded Collection last year. Too expensive. And it went way up in price. And then I think back towards when I was a kid even. People going back. This, this has been a reoccurring theme throughout the hobby over and over and over, ever since premium products started to get released. There's a segment of the collecting population that will not pay that amount for cards. And it's understandable. But the beauty of it is, is there's there's different price points all along the way for people to get in different releases. That's why they have a flagship release. That's why they have big league. That's why they have opening day. That's why they have had other things in the past. Gallery, for example. Another ETT. We got three of them in this box. And it's a good one. Michael Harris. We got two really good ones. Mike Trout and Michael Harris. But I'll be interested to see how this stuff sells on the secondary market. I think a lot of people... I've gotten a lot of comments. People are going to be buying singles. And what that means is the prices of singles... The, de the demand is high for the price of singles and the supply is relatively low. It's a low produced product. So single prices will probably go up and that's how box prices go up. When single prices are high, box prices are high because people are chasing that sale. And another one, man, this is like a Nolan Gorman, Sosa. Oh, the good one. Corbin Carroll, ETT. That's the good one. You know what I'm going to do with that? Off to the upgrade shop. I've got two of my best Corbin Carrolls that I pulled. I sent them away to PSA. They both got 10s. The gold Corbin Carroll from Series 2 and his autograph. I pulled both of those. And luckily, they both gemmed up, and I put them right into my slab. I, it's so tough when you have you know, the most... One of the most valuable cards that you're going to pull out of there. Do you want to sell it? Do you want to keep it? It's a tough choice. We got McLean rookies in here. I did not know that. I haven't even looked at the checklist. I don't even know if it's out. What is this? Oh, yes. Is that Shohei? That looks like Shohei. Oh, it's Trout. Oh, it's so cool. This is my first planetary pursuit, and they are glorious. Whoa. Whoa. The sun. And it's trout. Man, this is a trout box. If I've ever seen one. Mm. I just got like this trigger in my brain that's like you need every variation of that. And I, I kind of thought that, that was going to happen. The first one I pulled, that's the spread that I want to get. And it's trout. I don't know. I kind of... Like I said, I didn't look at the checklist, so I kind of need... I'm going to look at it right now. Hold on. All right, I just pulled this up real quick. They have... So the sun is the most common one in 120. And then Mercury, one in 480. Venus, one in... It's... Those are crazy pulls. Crazy, crazy pulls. 
And they've got each individual one listed in the checklist, which seems like unnecessary to me because we get it. They all have that parallel. And then we got the star clusters. There's only 15 cards in the star clusters. Yeah, Bobby just makes an appearance on two different star clusters. Stars in the night. We got 25. Stella Nova's 15 card checklist. Look at these names. That's the thing about this. The names on all the inserts are just the top tier best best players and the taco fractors only have a hundred cards in their checklist so they slim it down even more so like if you're gonna get a taco fractor it's gonna be a name gotta look at the autographs too so it's a 49 card autograph checklist just look at some of these names and see where we're at here guys that i would like to collect guys that i would like to pull adley volpe Beatty to an extent carol morell seager yelich Grayson, Jazz is a pretty nice one. Josh Young, Jordan Walker, Michael Harris, Mike Trout, Vargas and Jones, two other underrated rookies. So maybe not, I don't know. I like Nolan Jones. We got Pete Alonzo, the Yankees, two more Yankees rookies, Goldschmidt, Acuna, Green. Casas, Grissom, yeah, it's a it's a nice checklist. And then the extraterrestrial talent, 21 cards. We're looking at another, yeah, Bobby's on there, Corbin, Gunner, nice. Soto, Michael Harris, Trout, Trout, and Otani. Big name autos. Launched into orbit, Judge, Ortiz, McGuire, Olsen, Alonzo, Goldschmidt, Acuna, Vlad, and Dad. Just had to check that real quick. That was weird doing it mid-break, but it is what it is. There we got Adley on the back. Riley, yes. Ruiz is good. Maggie and Adley. Getting a lot of good rookies out of here. I don't know. Are we going to get an auto? I'll open another box. If we don't get an auto, I'm just going to keep ripping. That's my pledge to you. We're going to see an autograph one way or another. Max Meyer, it's a rookie, and it's numbered to 199. Bunch of standworthy cards here. Need a big rookie parallel, though, because that's that's where you're going to make your money back. Big rookie parallel, upgrade shop, boom. Big, uh, nice auto. There's a lot of good autos to get, so I'm not really worried. Another star clusters, L2. So these are pretty common, so collecting the whole set shouldn't be too difficult. Alec Thomas. Bellinger, is this a refractor? Nope, it's a starry night. Ooh. Bummer. Man, if I was tops, I would pull him right out of every product here coming here. I don't know. I know. I know it's nothing settled yet, but just in case. Just in case. Air on the side of caution. Nobody wants to be pulling his cards anymore. Oh, okay. That's the best one. That's got to be the best one. Trout and Otani. Bang. That in a... Ooh, that in a parallel. Let's go. Oh, Hoppy. And the rare bust back. I want to get one of those crazy hard to pull die cuts too. Scherzer, another rare bust pack. Okay, this is the last chance to get an auto. If not, we're going to do another box right here, right now. Hit the like button. Oh, there's a thick boy in there. Thick boy in there. Shh. What is this? Oh, we did get an auto. It's El Contra. No way. No way. I kind of just want to open up another box either way. I honestly did not want to get an auto out of there so I could open up another box and justify it. Alcantara. Jeez. I'm doing another box. I don't care. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, I got another box right here. Round two. Actually, this is round three. Oh, man. Everything worked out. We got one of these planetary pursuits and an autograph. I got to redo everything. Okay, Seelig Sweep, 
Clayton, everything. We're gonna recreate the good luck that went into that box. Sweep that, sweep it all away, every side. Superstitions coming in full force. Clayton, do your thing. You still got it. You still got it. I never doubted you for a second, Clayton. Base autograph. Pitcher. I'm pulling them all out of there this time. No, oh, it's too late. It's trying to re recreate the exact vibe. This will have to do. I think I might be addicted to this. <laughs> another, another clusters. Each one looks like it's a, because the first thing you see is all the color, the blue and the purple, and you're like, <gasps> parallel? And here we go. Come on. Rowdy. Man, my parallels have been caca to 199. Hot caca for the parallels. We need one big numbered or nucleus. Alvarez. ETT. There's Bobby. There's the nucleus. Come on, rip it off. It's an Alvarez box. It's a big rookie. Young. Big market team. High high end prospect. Put him back there with his boy. Nah, let's leave him up here. I want you guys to see him. We'll double up here. Put him right there. And that box also had a refractor, Brandon Marsh. Kind of a bus pack, although Moreno there at the end, he had a home run last night. He's my starting catcher now. What is this? Is this something? Oh, we got something. We got something. All right, Vargas, Santander, gold, something awesome. Manoa. I didn't know minor leaguers were included in this checklist. Oh, number to 50. Oh, gold. I, I, I want to call it Velocity. Gold Velocity. What is it called? It's called Gold Interstellar Refractor. Look at that thing. Oh. Sick. Fortunately, I got a minor leaguer. ETT Yoshida. There's another good one. People love him. Okay, we're kind of doubling up here. It's dark. I mean, I wonder how out of a case, one in five, there's like 15 of them. You're getting four. You're going to get multiple sets of this in a case. I would think. Raleigh Refractor. Morrell rookie and <laughs> another one. I mean the Trout Otani and then the triple there and the Adley and Gunner. <laughs> another gold? We got another gold. Oh come on. Somehow be an auto. That's a gold auto. It's a rookie. Yes. 50. Oh, it is. Vaughn Grissom gold to 50. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. Oh. Hard signed on card. Look at the good luck hat. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That is a... So... That may cover my three boxes. And that's how you do it. 
That's how you do it right there. Oh. And the little white out there, perfect for the SIG. Ooh. Ooh. I'm hooked. Like the video. Oh. Yeah. I feel like a million bucks. Soto, ETT, Terang rookie. Free rolling. Let's see what we can get free rolling. Mm hmm. Adley, Bobby, and Riley. I'm getting like the same ones from the last box, I think. Gorman, Jordan launched into orbit. So we haven't gotten our die cuts out of this box. Should be getting another one soon. And come on, Planetary Pursuit. Let's go. Let's see. Planetary Pursuit, do they come? Do you get the Planetary Pursuit when you get an auto? That's the question. That's my question. Lee and Vargas. These are cool. Definitely. Mm, we're getting to the end. Four packs left. I, got, I st ooh, still have the, like, I want to do another box. I'm going to have to have a little bit of restraint and say that's the last one for today. A little bit of restraint. can do it. ETT -T Bobby. And Yoshida. All right, last pack. It's a fun rip. Can have a die cut in here. Manoa and Soto. Launched. Whew. All right. This time we're going to look at some of the hits, I think. Man, we got some big extraterrestrial talent. Michael Harris, Corbin Carroll, the real big boy. Mike Trout. A few more. Soto and Bobby, Yoshida, Alvarez. Good rookies, good names. Um, launched into orbit. We got... Four of them, two per box. So Soto, Jordan, Bobby, and Goldschmidt. Star clusters are stars indeed. Trout and Otani, two of them. Adley and Gunner, two of them. Adley, Bobby, and Riley. Julio, Bobby, and Jeremy. Got two of those and two of those. Yeah, we just doubled up. We got the same inserts in both boxes. It's weird. Both boxes. And then in the back, we got an Ohapi refractor. The numbered cards were mostly not good, but Rowdy Telez and Max Meyer, rookie at least. Both of those are numbered to 199. We got the Vargas Starry Knight. And Kyle Stowers, rookie, Nucleus, and also Alvarez. So Alvarez is probably the better one there. But those are sweet. And Manoa, gold, ended up with two autos. So they're not that hard to pull. At least they don't seem that way. I opened three boxes, got two autos, but really small sample size. So Alcantara Auto, and then the big boy, Vaughn Grissom. Holy. Whoa. Eight of 50. I can't stop looking. I mean, you got to see it in person. It's just like. And the planetary pursuit got trout. Awesome. I like it a lot. I'm having fun with this product, and I think you will too. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all later.